Hey everybody, I hope this video finds you well. Thank you all so much for tuning into my channel. I just wanted to make a very quick video to tell you guys what my scent of the day is. I know I've been releasing videos on a pretty consistent basis, but I just wanted to get in front of the camera today. I don't know what it is, but uh, I want to tell you about my scent of the day. It's actually a scent that I discovered recently, and it's a wonderful scent. But before I tell you what it is, I want you to tell me what is your scent of the day. I look forward to seeing what my subscribers are wearing, what is trending. Maybe there's a fragrance that I sort of missed in the shuffle because we know every year there are what thousands of releases when you combine the designer the niche and the indie industry there is, really is a lot to get your nose on sometimes it's hard to keep up but nonetheless leave a comment down below tell me what scent are you wearing today all right so let's go ahead and get it started my scent of the day today is actually a fragrance that I have been wearing this spring I look forward to wearing this spring uh, this spring that much more and it's actually by a new company the company is called room 1015 and the fragrance is called electric wood. This is actually a really nice scent. Um, the name electric wood, kind of like a guitar. The person who created this, Dr. Mike, uh, he's called Dr. Mike because he actually used to be a pharmacist. He created this smell, or with the help of two perfumers, he created this smell to smell like his first guitar. So he actually went on a few trips with these perfumers, both ladies, and they went to smell new guitars, they went to smell vintage guitars, and they use a combination of ingredients including cedarwood and ambroxan that recreate create the smell of really just opening up the case and uh, smelling your first guitar. And all of the fragrances in this line sort of work hand in hand to fulfill a rock aesthetic. So he has one that he named after his wife. He has one that's supposed to be representative of the power ballads of the uh, 80s and 90s bands like Guns N' Roses. He even has one called Atramental, which is supposed to resemble the smell of the antiseptic, of getting a tattoo and the burning skin and the laser and the ink. So it is such a cool concept and I always love it whenever these brands take these different mediums of art and they infuse them and they create this overlap, this bleed, this parallel and they manage to do such a phenomenal job at really conveying to the consumer how it's possible that not only perfume should be represented as an art but it's not very different from these other modalities of art. So it's such a beautiful concept, such a wonderful scent. It's like Dior's Sauvage with this dirty vetiver note kind of akin to the one that you get in Lorenzo Villoresi's vetiver. It's almost like this Encre Noir Sycamore kind of vetiver but it has this cleanliness in the background because of the Ambroxan and the Cedarwood note in this one is to die for. I always said my favorite cedar, what I think is Mr. Marvelous by Byredo. This might actually take the number one spot. I think it's a very close tie between them. So anyways, I just wanted to tell you guys what my scent of the day is. It's a fragrance that I absolutely love. Once again, it's called Electric Wood and the brand is 1015. I'll leave all the information down below. So if you're interested in checking it out online, the Facebook page, the Instagram, everything is down there, but it really is a wonderful brand. And I would recommend you get a sample of every fragrance from this line because I think this brand has a lot to offer. So guys, thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe for future videos, top 10s, giveaways, unboxings, and a lot of other fragrance-related content. So on that note, we'll see you in the next episode. Take care, everyone.